It's the duck update. That's Wilbur on the right, Charlotte on the left. Cinnamon in the background, and they're like, what is that noise? What's Cinnamon barking about? We're in the backyard in their little miniature duck pond. Temporary. They're big. They're a month and a half old now. Wilbur, what do you hear? There you go. Well, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? Monday without me? I felt weird. I felt... Uh, this whole week I felt unmoored because I didn't make a video on Monday. <laughs> At the same time, when I woke up, I was like, I don't have to make a video today. And then I was like, I didn't make a video today. I feel like I need to earn things in order to enjoy them. You know, I like to get all my work done. Like I always say, and I tell this to my kids, and it's do what needs to get done, and then you can have fun. It's not always the case, but that's kind of the way I think, you know? So usually before these shaving videos, actually I will get all the work out of the way and make sure that I can just focus on doing this. So it's good to be back. Anyway, I don't know now, now I'm rambling. See, I'm already out of practice, already out of practice. It's Friday, folks. It's time to shave. Uh, I bought something this week and something was sent to me and we're going to shave with it. And I kind of, here's the, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Let me show you. Oh, that's the clue. That's the clue. Club man. All right, that's all. Bought one, finally, after years of having one, and then years of not having one. Anyway, all right, so I took a shower, I did my hair, and what am I going to shave with today? Well, the fine folks over at Pearl Shaving sent me this. This is the second thing they've sent me. I've been waiting on this one because it came in this cool box. So there's the back. Can you read that? So Pearl Shaving is out of India. It's the mark of a gentleman, by the way. They make fantastic razors. I did a couple of reviews. I did one recently. Wasn't such a fan of that one. I felt like somebody put it really well. It was like, it was mild, but it wasn't efficient. Or it felt aggressive, but it wasn't efficient. You know, it kind of blade chatter, some people said. And that's not a term that I remember to say sometimes. Blade chatter. But anyway, we're going to try this one out. This is the K2. And the reason why it's called K2 is because it's got two handles. One long and one short. And, and it's a three-piece razor. And I'm going to use, well, let's open it up, first of all. And because I got yelled at last time for not using the blades that were sent to me by some viewer somewhere, <laughs> he said, hey, use the blades that come with it because those are good blades. I was like, well, there's a reason why I use feather blades. I know what feather blades are like and I want to test the razor, but I'll humor you this once. Don't make me turn this car around. All right, folks, so here's what you get. You get a polishing cloth, which is nice. You get the long handle, the short handle, the two-piece head, and a little thing of Willis or Willie's Ultra Smooth Razor Blades. Let's put this down over here, put this down here. So, you know, like a Willis Jeep, W-I-L-L-Y-S, but it's apostrophe S, so it's Willie's. Willie's! Willie Nelson. I know he sells other stuff, that Willie, besides music and biodiesel. So, yes, we're going to use a Willie's blade. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Not a willy blade, a willy's blade. And then here's what it looks like. It's got a little, little inner sleeve. That's always kind of nice. It comes out, all right, all right. Ooh, oh, see? Be careful, folks. Be fair, careful with these razor blades. You know them, you love them. It also came with a shaving guide if you need it and the thank you card, but uh, you, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have. All right, so let's take this out and tr let's try both handles out. Let's start off with the uh, long one and go to the short one, all right? Let's hold them all up here. It's a lightweight razor. Um, it says Pearl on it. It says Pearl a little bit smaller on that one. So there you go. There's the size difference. Here's the two-piece head. This thing's got, uh, like, real good protection on all sides. You know, well, you know, like on the ends. I like it when there's no blade overhang. Um, so here's what the head looks like when you take it apart. Uh, this thing is $23 on Amazon. $23. Bucks. So if you were thinking of getting a Vanderhagen or a uh, Hagen uh, you know what I mean. Bad, it wasn't even a joke. All right, it was a joke. Oh my goodness, there goes the long one. Okay, this is kind of like that thing where you gotta choose the short straw. Which one is which? Which one do you choose? It's the short straw. All right, let's try the long one first. Let's put a blade in, no more mucking about. Let's do this. There's the top of the head. Here's the bottom. It looks like it's like a no brainer to put this thing together if you've never done it. Hold it in your hand like that. Put the blade right on top, and there's a couple little guides. See? 
Whoa, man, I am, this is the, this thing must be made out of margarine or something. All right, well, my, my hands are. I haven't eaten any butter or oleo. Do they still call it oleo? Remember that? All right, let's take this, screw it on the bottom. And because there's no blade overhang, I can hold onto the edges and tighten it. Now let's take a look, make sure. Ooh, you hear that? All right. So there's the Willie's blade and the very thin, very skinny little handle. Here's the shorty. We'll try that one in a minute. I'll try that one on the second pass. As I said, I took a shower, did my hair. Gonna put some hot water on my face. Ah. Can I tell you about the excitement this week? I think it was, it might have been Monday morning or Tuesday morning. It was like 6 a.m. or something. You know, we, we generally wake up uh, like about 6.15 or so and start getting ready and doing everything. And, uh, oh, what am I gonna lather with? I'm gonna use my, uh, the Jolly Rancher from West Coast Shaving and the Space Soap Penguins in Flight. It's not about the soap or the brush today. I just love this Christmas scent. It doesn't make it anymore. My pal over there at Space Soap on Etsy. Man, I wish you would though. Gosh, this stuff is good. I'm glad I have it and I hope it lasts for a long time. I've barely even scratched the surface of this penguin. It smells like Christmas. It smells like pine. It smells like cherry or something. It, it just, this is from Christmas 2020. It was a special deal he did and so beautiful. So beautiful. All right. Lathers up great. This is one of the one of the one of the many regrets I have uh, being only able to talk to you via an electronic means. You can't smell what I'm smelling and see you and and feel and anyway. <laughs> penguins in flight. All right, here we go, folks. Let's lather up first. Gosh, see, told you. <laughs> I'm already already. Out of practice. It's as if I haven't been shaving all week already, you know? Actually, I don't think I did yesterday. I might have just done a quick pass with the electric razor. Okay, so, the other day I wake up. Sorry about that. I got distracted. About 6 o'clock. And... I heard a helicopter flying around over. Just flying, flying. It's like, we live near uh, children's hospitals, so sometimes, you know, the, the life flight helicopter comes through. So I thought that's what it was. But it was persistent. It was just... It was not stopping. All right, here we go. The K2 from Pearl Shaving. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dang, that feels aggressive. Goodness. Holy cow, what the heck? <laughs> I never quite had a reaction like that, but man, can I feel the blade in this thing, jeez. Whoa. Ooh, aggressive, but I think it's more efficient. Whoa, oh yeah, you gotta do, use this one with caution. I can feel the blade on this sucker. Wow, it's like R41 material. Dang. It's very light, the handle's very thin. I think I like a thicker handle. And you know, like the rock, here's the rock well. I mean, look at that, look at the, this is thick with two C's. I like the length, but I think I like it a little, just a little bit thicker, like a Fat Boy or Rockwell, something like that. But man, can I feel the way? I better watch out. Get the angle right. Now, if you're new to uh, safety razor shaving, remember, do not press hard at all with a safety razor. And with this one, you think it's the blade? You think it's that Willie's blade? This is why I don't like to use unknown blades, random person on the internet. There's a method to my madness, and I'm going to put that method back in place. So thank you for your rant, even though you totally misunderstood the whole point of everything. <laughs> what else is new? All right, let's get a brand new feather blade. Stick that sucker in there, because I want to make sure it's not the blade. I want to see what the razor feels like. All right. All right. So with this, you know, one a week deal, these these one a week ones might be a little bit longer. I don't know. I don't know. Depending if I have more stick more stuff to say, might be twenty minutes. I still want to do. Uh, I've got to get down there. Just right there we go. I had it off kilter. All right. There we go. I do want to try some more live stuff. You know, like walking to work or hanging out on the porch. I haven't done that in forever. I got a little nick there. I thought I might. I thought I might. All right. Let's go. 
Hmm. Okay, it still feels very aggressive. So it wasn't the blade. Overall, this razor feels, the handles feels a little too thin for me. That's just my opinion. You may love it. Like every, like anything and everything in life, you may absolutely love it. And the next person just cannot stand it. But that's the peculiarities of living, folks. That's just us being human. You know what? I think I have a shout out. Let me finish this pass, then we'll switch over to the short handle, and we'll try it out. Ooh, the sun's coming out. Oh, it's going to be summertime soon, folks. It's, it was nearly 90 degrees Fahrenheit in February. <sighs> that does not bode well, folks, ladies and germs. Okay, so there's the first pass. Overall, handle feels too thin. I like it thicker. The head looks very big. I mean, it like sticks way far out, which is fine, but it feels a little too aggressive. Like it's not a comfortable shave for me. And that's my beard, my thickness, the way I do it, the way I hold it. So all these things could be different for you. But it was a more efficient, aggressive shave than the last one. So yeah, that did a pretty good job. I could stop right now, but I'm not going to. Let's keep on going. All right, I'm gonna get the shout out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. That was fast. Here's a hint, one hand. Shout out to the one-handed keyboardist. He and his girlfriend of one year. I've been together for one year. <laughs> John and Crystal, shout out to both of you. Congratulations on your first blissful year together. And uh, here's to many, many more down the line. The one-handed keyboardist, been around forever. John and Crystal, shout out. All right, get back to work, folks. That's enough. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. You ever heard that before? All right, let's take the head off and put the tiny little thin handle on it. The only difference is the shortness, the length, the shortness. Great grammar skills. All right. <laughs> Feels like a dang uh, travel razor now. I mean, look at the difference there. That's something. Okay, let's lather back up. Try this again. I got some water on my face. Oh, space soap. So good. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, so, God, back to that story. Holy cow, what is wrong with me? Whew. So, helicopters flying around the neighborhood. Helicopters, helicopters. And then I see lights flashing outside, like, not, not like uh, police lights, but like white lights. So I figured, oh, a helicopter's got a, 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 a thing on, got a, a spotlight trying to find somebody. It's like, uh-oh, they're trying to find somebody, which is not, you know, nothing new. I've seen that plenty, you know, cops looking for someone that's trying to escape. But then I saw... I looked out the front window and saw cops with policemen and police dogs with flashlights. They just left our front yard went and were going through the, the neighbor's front yard. I was like, oh boy, this is serious. Okay, guys, let's everybody wake up. So I woke up the family, the kids, the wife is already awake, got the kids up and said, everybody come upstairs. We'll just hang out up here. Don't worry. Daddy's got protection. Don't worry. Responsible gun ownership. And training is important. So anyway, we just keep looking out the window for the next, you know, like 30 minutes. And the cops are scouring our neighborhood, man. And they were in our uh, uh, backyard neighbor's backyard. They were going through there with German shepherds. So we got police dogs and police helicopters and police in general. So it's like, what is going on? And we got this little app here in the States called Next Door, where it's like you join up. You put your actual address and everything so that you can talk to people in your neighborhood. And it's all kind of on the up and up, you know, they keep some, some amount of privacy. Anyway, so things are popping off on next door. Like, what's going on? What are all these cops? And turns out in the end, there was like, there's a, a major road that goes sort of near our neighborhood. And uh, cops were chasing some guy. He decided to ditch his car. He smashed into two cars, in, you know, right outside our neighborhood and decided to escape into our neighborhood. And uh, I don't know if they ever caught him, but we were ready. <laughs> I was like, okay, guys, we're heading out to the car. It's still dark outside. I'm going to, you know, we kind of gave it the all clear. And it seemed like the police had left, you know, 
But man, that was weird. Weird. That was a bit of excitement. Okay. So that second pass, strangely enough, even though, you know, I've taken out all the whiskers from the purse, that one I enjoyed better with the shorter handle. Hmm. There's got to be something in that, you know, like the 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 pivot point or the fulcrum or the the the, uh, the center of gravity and the what if we did this then I could shave from the other room <laughs> honey what are you doing all right I'm gonna keep with that one and we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the third pass Ugh. and then I'll show you what else I got I I haven't nicked myself yet which is good but I kind of want to because of what I bought. And you know I've had an Allen block forever. Got two of them. And that's good for little nicks, like general, like tiny little nicks everywhere. But if you have like a real cut that you need to take care of, I mean, you can do that with an Allen block if you just keep going over the area and keep going over an area. But what you should use, and I don't like them because they leave a white mess when they dry, is a stip dick pencil. Clubman Pinot. Jumbo styptic pencil. I just bought it yesterday. It's got that dapper gentleman. Who's that? Beau Brummel on there? Who is that? Is that Mr. Pinot? Oh, Monsieur Pinot. Mais oui. So anyway, it's got aluminum sulfate in it. Purpose stops bleeding. There you go. So I'm going to keep that in the package for now. And then if I need to, I'll use it. I hope I don't need to, but I kind of want to. All right. Third pass. I'm going to go real slow. Now I am feeling sort of a drag, like the metal that this head is made out of isn't uh, going smoothly across my skin like, uh, like say, the Rockwell does with the Murica razor. It's kind of dra giving me a little bit of drag, which gives you a little control, I feel like. It's almost like a, a governor, you know, on a, on a, on a golf cart or, or something to keep you from going too fast. I prefer not to feel that feeling, but that's just what I'm experiencing right now. I'm just giving you the, this is the first time I've ever used this. I hadn't even taken it out of the package yet. And uh, thanks to the fine folks at Pearl, they have some fantastic razors. These past two I've used haven't been quite what I would choose, but that's part of the process. It's part of the process. And that's why they sent it to me to give, uh, give me the, give them my opinion. And from what I understand, they're coming out with something else soon. They haven't released it yet. They haven't announced it. There's some sort of a secret thing coming out. So that's exciting. I don't know. Stay tuned, folks. Got that, uh, the Pearl Flexi and the Pearl Blaze. Those two are fantastic. So if you want to uh, check out, just do, you know, search for Pearl and Sinatra Land and it'll, they'll come up. But the Flexi and the Blaze, those are great. This one, the K2, not a huge fan of. It feels a little too aggressive to me. Even now, on the third pass, as I was getting this little... Like, there's always whiskers right here for me. And you can hear it there, right? And normally, those would be pretty much gone after the third pass. But I do have to do an extra, you know, cleanup pass. But it's really kind of like hitting that... Hitting those whiskers and slowing down a lot. So, it feels almost like I might cut myself. So, anyway, take what I say with a grain of salt, folks. The grain of salt and a dollop of shaving cream. All right, let's give it a naked cheek feel. Yeah, good, you know, good shave. I didn't enjoy the shave that much. I enjoyed hanging out with y'all. But I'm gonna get the problem areas here. I had uh, a couple of people reach out to me and ask me if everything was okay in, in life and stuff. and. They'd sense that I've been kind of a little bit down recently, and yeah, I have been, you know, I've been a little bit depressed and, and anxious, you know, coming up after the, the whole pandemic thing, and it's hard to shake, and I've never really experienced it before, but it's nothing terrible, it's nothing too bad, and I'm, you know, it's nothing I can't handle, and we're talking to a guy, and, uh, uh, you know, all that good stuff, so, but I really appreciate uh, the, the email being from my friend in Australia, uh, but yeah, it's just typical life stuff, you know, as you get older, you get older, things change, things aren't quite what you thought they might be, uh, new challenges arrive that you didn't know you'd have to face, you know, it's a weird thing, being this old and having young kids, I think, and, uh, should I have had them sooner? I don't know, I don't think I would have been ready, but it's nothing too bad, but I appreciate, 
me going down to one video a week was not because of any of that. It was just kind of like, you know what? <laughs> I just want to do one a week. So that's all. That's all it is. All right. Ooh. Did I get any nicks that I need to stop with the... Not yet. I'm going to use it for real. I'm not going to force it with the old styptic pencil. All right. Let's put on some this. Some terror. Oh, I love the smell of this stuff. It's that weird Greek yogurt consistency, mentholated stuff. I love it. It's from Barrister and Man. Be sure you don't put it on your lips or in your eye because it will get you. Believe me. All right. Wash your hands after you use that stuff. Because it's got this tingly mentholated stuff in it that's different from normal menthol. Terror by Barrister and Man. There we go. Two R's and two N's in Barrister and Man. All right. So the Pearl K2. There's a thumbnail for you, folks. Anyway, um, 23 bucks. Your mileage may vary. You may love it. It's, I think it's a good razor. I just don't prefer the, the feel of it. A lot of people love the feel of the Mula R41, and I don't, you know. So 23 bucks, and you get all this. You get two handles. You get a good three-piece head. It's solidly built. It uh, comes with a box and some other junk in it and some Willie's Blades, which I don't recommend necessarily. But you never know. <laughs> don't want to disparage them. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. I'm glad you all were here. And uh, sorry for all the interruptions. <laughs> and uh, it's time to go and check on the ducks, see if they're okay. I leave them outside now so they can get used to the backyard, which is where they're going to live until we send them off to a farm, I'm sure, before too long. Wish me luck. All right, everyone. Have a great one, and I'll see you all very soon.